Uh, as our next group of presentations, I am proud to introduce you all to the Michaels. Uh, they are here to talk about Alpha and Omega. Our first Michael, Michael Windsor, is a product manager of software supply chain and CICD at Google. You might have heard of it. Uh, Windsor has been building websites and applications since 1984, and today focuses on securing the open source supply chain as a leader of the Alpha and Omega project and a regular contributor to assorted OpenSSS projects and working groups. The other Michael, Mr. Scovetta, is a principal security program manager at Microsoft and co-chair of the Identifying Security Threats Working Group. He helps research and mitigate security threats and is also a co-lead of Alpha and Omega, which I think we're gonna hear a little bit about in seconds from now. And he is uh, trying to bring better tooling and resources to the open source ecosystem. So please give the Michaels a warm round of applause. Thanks, Rob. Let's go. All right. Uh, for disambiguation, I am Michael Windsor. Uh, that's, yes, that's Michael Scovetta. Uh, so we're going to talk about Alpha Omega. We have a lot to cover. We'll probably go too fast. Um, have fun. And uh, we have a slide clicker. Great. So our mission is really about like the problem here to solve, which is common to everybody here. You know, like making open source security possible. Uh, is a huge undertaking. Understanding the problem that why is it un why is it insecure? Where are the problems coming from? What can we do? Uh, and at the end of the day, it really comes down to direct action, right? We're not here to go and create the next future of open source tooling and uh, protocols and standards. We're here right now to start applying our energies to making open source more secure today. Um, which really leads to a pretty obvious vision statement of where we want to, what we want to achieve, what will actually be possible, right? We want critical open source projects to be secure. The ones that are the most critical, the most important to everybody, like just start by getting those to be in a secure place and understanding when they're not and how to get them there. Uh, and that vulnerabilities that are found are fixed quickly. There's a lot to put into that and I want to sort of understate uh, how, you know, how hard this is, it's hard. We're still learning a lot of things. Um, we'll jump right in. This is the team. Uh, there's a lot of incredible people supporting from the Linux Foundation helping it, but ultimately the uh, sort of executive function of the group right now is myself, Michael, and Brian, who's sitting down here, hiding away. Um, and we meet on a regular basis and are driving towards sort of the mission we've described, the vision we're doing, building a team to get there, and hopefully spending our money. Um, we're still hiring. You know, right now this is basically being done as my sort of my other, other, other job, including all the other jobs I have at Google, um, and I think Michael is in the same boat. We are hiring folks for uh, Alpha Omega. We'll talk more about that later on as well. So, Michael, you get the clicker now. Wonderful, thank you. So, I, I do want to talk about, and just level set, like what is Alpha Omega really? So. Alpha, Alpha and Omega are two different kind of sub-projects or areas. The, we, we all understand that open source is, is key to the security of our society, really. And I think this is a theme that you're going to hear you know, throughout this week. Um, society needs open source to be secure. It's, it's super important. Um, Alpha Omega is just one way of doing this. It is an experiment. We, we want to try lots of different things and fail at some of them and succeed in others. And hopefully, we, we, we move things forward. But Alpha Omega also is not certain things. It is not purely a fund to pay maintainers. Uh, it is not a certification process. Uh, it's, you know, we're not forking open source projects and taking them over. Uh, we're not trading zero days among, the, uh, among OpenSSF or the Alpha Omega team or anything like that. And we're also not looking to build an automated scanner that just finds kind of junk vulnerabilities and tosses them over the fence to maintainers. We want the maintainer experience to be delightful. We want them you know, to get very high quality, actionable, real vulnerabilities along with the help, if they would like it, to, to fix it. So we, we're, we're here with our um, sleeves rolled up and we, we are here to help. But Alpha and Omega have different focuses. So Alpha is primarily against the most critical open source projects. So you could think of this as around 100, 100, 150. Um, but there's a very long tail of still very widely used, but not in the top 100, 150 projects. 
So what we thought was that with Alpha, because it's a relatively small number of projects, we could put dedicated people on those projects, whether we're, we're, uh, we're funding you know, contract work, uh, working with other foundations. Uh, but this is where you can have someone spending months of time helping uh, a project or project ecosystem be, be more secure. Omega takes the opposite approach, where we do use automated tooling to look for high quality, real vulnerabilities, and then we triage them. And this is where it's, it's, even Omega is, is expensive, be, only, only because you know, tooling is not perfect. So we expect every, you know, the tool results to come out, we sort them, we prioritize. Um, in particular, when we talk about who we're actually hiring, you'll see that, that a lot of the, the, the focus is on this Omega tool chain being very, very high quality. What this really means, from, from an, since we're talking about Omega, we have lots of open source projects. We take the, this is somewhere on the order of 10,000 projects. We think we can do more than that, but if we just start there. Uh, and we're gonna use tools like CodeQL and SEMgrep and the, basically the, the best tools that are out there. Um, we're open to working with commercial vendors um, who have other static analysis and fuzzers and, and things like that. Um, but essentially we wanna turn that into a black box that takes in a open source project and spits out a list of high quality vulnerabilities. They're gonna be triaged uh, by researchers who are gonna be staff of, uh, for Alpha Omega. Uh, and then with them, we work with the open source community to get them fixed. <clears throat> so for Alpha, uh, you know, I mentioned we're hiring. Did I mention we're hiring? We're hiring. Um, <laughs> but we're sort of like that kid who just got that sort of, you know, um, gift card for Christmas or a holiday gift or something like that. There's a money burning a hole in our wallet and we wanna go spend it on some toys. Well, we wanna spend the money on making things more secure. And we also really wanted to look at ways that we could uh, you know, really maximize the impact early on. Um, and, you know, because our sort of simple way of putting it is we're, we're still learning about all the different ways to turn money into security. And I think one of the areas that we are sort of seeing as a tremendous opportunity is actually working through the single sort of most leveraged points of contact that we can find across the open source community, the foundations. Uh, and so, you know, we will be working with the foundations to directly fund initiatives and efforts within those foundations to help them fix their security culture, improve their security outcomes, actually fix specific vulnerabilities, shore up whatever missing gaps they are. I think we all need to start recognizing this is an industry-wide tech debt that has been unfunded, ununderstood, unrealized, and is now looming large. And it requires additional effort to get there. Uh, it's sort of like a Y2K problem without the same clarity of the problem, the solution, or the date. Uh, which, <laughs> great place to be, right? So, uh, we have some exciting news today. We've actually been working with a bunch of foundations, and I'm now going to call on a couple of our partners to come up and speak. Uh, Dustin, would you mind jumping up right now? I'll procure a microphone. Make sure that it's got an on hey, switch. I think it's good, already it's on. Good. So, get you up. Come on up. Uh, and you get a clicker, too. Does this work? Okay, there we go. Hi. Hey, folks. Uh, so I'm Dustin Ingram. Uh, I'm on uh, Michael's team on the Google Open Source Security team. I'm also a director of the Python Software Foundation. And uh, if you are not familiar with the PSF, the PSF is the organization that sort of owns and maintains Python the language and some other projects. Uh, we also operate the Python Package Index, and we also produce PyCon US, which is the largest um, Python conference in the US. And uh, we are, there we go. Uh, you don't know Python, it, 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 whether you like it or not, Python is one of the uh, most widely used programming languages. Uh, and we've sort of recognized that security improvements for Python and the ecosystem around it sort of have huge dividends for the entire open source community. Uh, so Alpha Omega is planning to make an investment in the PSF to support a, a security developer in residence. Um, this person, uh, in addition to a security audit. So the, security developer in residence will sort of work with the PSF as a staff member of the PSF to formalize some existing security practices that we have in terms of responding to security vulnerabilities in Python the language and um, packages on PyPI. Um, they're gonna also become more proactive in making some security improvements to those things. It's not gonna be entirely volunteer based. Uh, and then through the, that person, they will address new security issues uh, in all of the PSF's projects, but primarily within CPython and, and things on PyPI and PyPI itself. Uh, so I, I'm super excited about this, both as an uh, open source developer and as a director of the PSF and as a contributor to the OpenSSF. So uh, this is super exciting. And now, thanks.
And there's more. So All right, great. So we'll also have Mikael come up from the Eclipse Foundation. Thank you, Dustin. By the way, Dustin had exactly five minutes, maybe seven minutes warning that he was going to be giving this talk this morning. Um, he had not even seen the slides, which shows, I think, just how well he understands the problem here. Mikael, you're up. Thank you. So one another Michael, except he spawns differently. <laughs> I'm Mikael Barbero. I'm the head of security of the Eclipse Foundation. So for those of you would not know us. Um, we are a European-based um, open source foundation. We provide um, an environment for open source collaboration and innovation to individuals and companies. Uh, so we are very focused on the business-friendly part of open source. Um, we are a non-for-profit membership-based foundation. So here are our strategic members, so those who are particip participating the most and are part of our board of um, uh, the, the foundation. By the number, we are mainly, um, we have many, many projects, so 420 uh, more projects, uh, a lot of contributors as well. Um, two thirds of those contributors are actually from Europe, and two thirds of our um, companies, member companies, are also from Europe. So that's why we pivoted to Europe in the last couple of years. We used to be a 501c3. Uh, we know our um, base in Brussels, Belgium. Uh, as a AASBL, so International Association, not for profit. You may know us by our projects, so we have many various projects. Uh, so we started with the Eclipse ID, the good old um, desktop ID. Um, but you may have heard about Adoption, which is a new Adopt OpenJDK, which provides um, free, open source, secured build of OpenJDK. Um, we have projects also around uh, open, ad open hardware with Core 5, um, Eclipse Jetty, the HTTP uh, server, Kipol for um, uh, NFC, keycards, uh, PAO, MQTT implementation, so a wide range of projects. Um, all those projects are organized into key focus areas, so we, are mainly, we, we started as a tools foundation, uh, providing Eclipse ID and um, other tools uh, around the, the ID um, community. We are also very focused on IoT, a lot of MQTT implementations and uh, other protocols. Automotive, we have the, the, a new working group that has just been created, the software defined vehicles uh, to, to help promote uh, open source software around um, uh, the, the next generation of cars. Um, and also Clonet is Java with the new Java enterprise which has joined the foundation a couple of years ago already. So we are managing those projects. Um, we are working with those projects by providing, providing to them four pillars, or we used to provide them four pillars of open source. So first, an infrastructure, we provide tools and um, services hosted uh, at the foundation. Uh, we provide ecosystem development with marketing, conferences, um, and um, other communication. We provide a governance. We have a strong process for developing open source software uh, and also for managing IP and trademarks for those projects. So that's very important to get a level playing field and a freedom of action for all those projects that someone, the foundation, manages that for them. And today, thanks to Alpha Omega and other initiatives, we want to provide a new pillar, a new pillar service for projects around security and more specifically around supply chain security. So with the, the Alpha Omega investment, um, we would like to tackle three uh, main issues at first uh, is first the, the automation of generating SBOM. So SBOM is very important for our projects. We want to automate that for them. We don't want to put the burden, the burden of generating SBOM um, on their shoulders. They're already uh, burned out <laughs> or uh, very busy doing other things, so we want to, to help them with that. So we will start with uh, static source-based SBOM and maybe move to some more sophisticated ones later on. We will implement uh, SATSA-based um, badging program for our projects so that all of our projects will start at level zero and then we will work with them to actually uh, get their current uh, level and help some of them the, um, to reach higher level of salsa. And finally, we will initiate a number of security audits with our projects um, with the help of uh, OSTI, for instance, and other um, code edit companies. Um, so for some of the high profiles foundation projects, so we will start soon probably with the Eclipse ID project and their update process. And uh, we are still uh, working with other who are willing to participate in such code audits. Perfect. Get the clear. Thank you. Here we go. 
So this is all pretty exciting stuff. Um, in the spirit of like last minute presenters, is anybody from Node here today? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've been putting this deck together kind of on the fly, obviously. But uh, last, earlier this year, we actually already funded with Node Foundation, similar effort, uh, investing in uh, a similar sort of developer and residence focused on security for the Node community um, and putting together towards you know, figuring out what they want, practices, audits, um, you know, triaging the things like that. They have a long list of things they already know they need to do work on. We're very excited to be part of that effort as well. Uh, I want to emphasize again that what we're doing here is experimentation. Nobody knows how to do this, right? And part of what the work is happening here with these three foundations is it's going to be a monthly report back to us about how it's playing out, right? A lot of them are like, well, what do you want us to do? What details do you want us to have? And I'm like, you, you figure it out. Go, you know your stuff, go figure it out, and tell us how it worked out. Because then we can actually play that back, loop it back to the community, help the other foundations learn from each other, and build on that. Which is really how we're trying to tie it all together, right? Alpha Omega is a giant experiment. We're basically just throwing money into the pile and seeing if we can figure out how to turn that into security at the end of the day. Um, it's pretty obvious. If somebody could fill in step four, again, volunteers welcome. Uh, we'd be super happy to have that figured out. But this is what we're watching in action right now. We're going to watch the various efforts happening in these foundations, the work that we're going to do directly inside Omega with our own security research, which is already happening right now. And then as we add more people to that project, more things will happen. And we'll keep reporting back how it goes out. There's a very clear hands-on, we're doing it now, we're putting money into it now, and we're seeing what happens with it. Um, as a part of the news today, I'm super, is Madeira in the room today? Is Madeira here? Is there, there's, there's, everyone say hi to Madeira. Madeira is uh, one of my colleagues at Google has been administering this program called SOS, uh, SOS.dev, which has been about paying bounties back for fixing vulnerabilities. And we're pretty excited to be working with Madeira and the SOS program to bring it into the Alpha Omega. It's very mission aligned to what we're doing. You know, one of the first things we hear is like, well, you're going to find all these vulnerabilities. Who's going to fix them? And there's usually another word after that, some epithet of some kind. Um, and you know, again, we're learning, we're figuring it out, but SOS is a great place to start doing that. This is something we started in uh, October last year. We put a bunch of money in towards that and been paying it out to developers coming in. Uh, some developers have figured it out and are showing up very regularly. Great, we love that. Um, but we'd like to see a broader involvement there, and we're going to use our sort of umbrella and pulpit, if you will, to, to broadcast that out. Uh, so with that, Michael, you're back up. Click it for you. Cool. So whenever we present this, people ask, how can I get involved? You know, the, the, the Alpha Omega team, you know, we're small, we meet, it's, we, we, don't, we, we have uh, monthly meetings, uh, or monthly public meetings. Um, but there, there's lots of other ways where you can get involved and help to uh, help advance the Alpha Omega mission. So the first, get involved in the work groups. If you're not already regularly attending any of them, just join. Pick one that sounds interesting, join. If it's not for you, join a different one. Um, the Alpha Omega mailing, uh, announcements mailing list, you can join that. You'll, you'll see at least the high-level things that, that, um, that come up. We have the Slack channel, which is pretty regularly, um, you know, the, the activity going on there. Uh, there's also an interest form. But if you're interested in, in getting, you know, deeper involved, just contact us. To, let, let's, let, let's talk. Um, as we learn and as we experiment, we're going to find new opportunities where, you know, something can be, you know, e easily kind of carved off and run separately. And what we really want to do is, you know, work on one Alpha Omega to be driving a mission, but be spawning off separate projects that, that, are, that are doing specific things. So the same way that we don't want to reinvent coordinated vul vulnerability disclosure. We just want to use whatever, um, whatever process the OpenSSF, you know, likes and, and advocates for. Similarly, um, you know, in, in, terms of, uh, in terms of tooling, we want the tooling the tool chain that we use for Omega to be public. So we, we would invite contributions and improvements there from, from anyone. Uh, and even to the point of you know, when, when I talked about Alpha Omega, uh, when I talked about the Alpha side, you know, those top 100, 150, we're not deciding those 150. We're relying on the critical projects um, working group to define out that list. And we're kind of pulling from there. So there's lots of opportunities to get involved. Um, and we're hiring. I mentioned that, right? We're hiring? Right. I think I mentioned right. that a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, we are. Rob, you looking for a job? <laughs> so we have three, three roles uh, that are active right now that we're looking for. Uh, first one is a lead, lead uh, project manager, program manager. Um, this is, again, mostly because Michael and I both, this is our fourth job. Uh, and we 
do not want to be bottlenecks to this, so we want someone to come in and focus you know, ex exclusively on driving this program. Um, but we also want uh, the two roles on the, on the right side are mostly about Omega. The middle one, the, the engineer, is to build this amazing tool chain that, um, that takes in an open source project and spits out a high quality vulnerability. Uh, and on the right side, it's, it's, that's basically the, the, the triager. Um, so understand what a vulnerability is, how, is it, what rating is it, working with the upstream projects to get it fixed, and owning that kind of end to end. So job descriptions are all on the front page of opensf.org. If you know anybody, please refer them. If you're interested, please apply. So I'm super excited to, to you know, kick, uh, to, to have Alpha Omega kind of continue. We haven't been around for that long. Um, we've spent, uh, Alpha Omega was started with a $5 million investment fund. So we've, to date, I think we've spent, well, between Node, Eclipse, and, and, and Python, um, we're spending around 20% of that. Uh, so we want to spend more. We want to do, do, do more with this. We want to learn lots and iterate and, and keep going. So if you have any questions, if we have time, I don't do we have know time? if we have time. We have three minutes for questions? Three whole minutes. Three whole minutes. So answers might be, take longer and be outside, but we'll take the questions. Anyway. And if not, we're happy to meet outside and chat anyway. So. All right, we've stunned them into silence, cool. Michael. That's perfect. Um, by the way, there's no truth to the rumor that you have to be named Michael in order to work at Alpha Omega. Um, but, you know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, thanks very much, everyone. Have a great talk for the rest of the sessions.